Hi everybody, it's Andrea aka Violet Kitty 411 and we are back with Miss Violet Kitty, the star of my tutorial series. This is of course her fourth iteration. She's been in Sims 1, Sims 2, oh, just Sims 3 but that was only for me and also Sims 4 and so let's get down to it. This is five tips for successfully living the single life. Some people bite the bullet and make a make a family right away but I like to build up to it so this is what I've done in every version of the game is build up to a family so let's go ahead and get started now before we get down to five things for living the single life I'd like to real quickly recap what we discussed in the last video five tips for jump-starting great gameplay number one make a great character now I really feel like I gave Violet some really interesting behaviors. Uh, she is neat. Uh, she's also good. She has a couple bonus traits. The essence of flavor because I chose the foodie aspiration for her as well as muser because I chose the creative aspiration for her. Uh, so those are a couple things that are really great for her. So next, uh, using the cheats judiciously. Like I said, I always start every save by turning testing cheats on. I don't use the cheats that frequently, but I do use them to either get out, oh hi Mortimer, to either get out of a tight bind or adjust the characters or something like that. Uh, number three, spend your money wisely. Don't fill your home up with a lot of cheap stuff. Instead, fill your home up with things that are more expensive but provide greater satisfaction for your Sims. Um, so it's less is more, really. Like, for instance, a good bed. You only need a refrigerator and a counter. A really great shower. Go cheap on just about everything else. So choose your choose what you're doing. Hi, Greg. Or actually, that's Jeffrey. Hi, Jeffrey. Jeffrey Landgrab. Um, bounce around between the aspirations. Currently, I am working on her painting skills. So since I'm currently working on the painting skills, I have her working as on the painter extraordinaire. Whenever I have her cooking a meal, I have her working on her foodies. So that's kind of like one of those things. And also set your gameplay options for things, particularly uh, in here, particularly with your aging gameplay. Currently I actually have the game, the aging for all Sims turned off because I actually played Jake and I wanted to have him have just a couple extra days in his teenagehood before I moved him elsewhere. So yeah, set your gameplay for things that will be more beneficial for your gameplay options. So now let's talk about five tips for living the happy sing single life. The first thing we're going to think about is focusing on her needs. Now, I had Violet making some s digital sketch pad sketches, and she's just leveled up in her painting skills, but she's hungry. So let's go ahead and have her cook, which means make a garden salad, single serving. I am going to switch her over to the foodie aspiration while we do so. So she can, again, bounce around with your aspirations. Now you'll see that she's got some light bulbs coming out of her head. That's because of the lot traits, and I'll discuss that here in just a quick minute. But there we go. And she made a third fantastic meal. So that's great. It's almost as if someone is controlling Her Majesty's life. So what we will do, because she had a an uncomfortable mood lip from that, 
now we've finished that out. Things are clean. She's happy about that. That was a tasty meal. And now she's got looming anxiety from an un from unfulfilled dreams and not enough exercise. So those, in addition to the six needs that we have down here, we also have to cons also have to look at these needs as well as once over here. Now, if you've played Sims 2, the once are not nearly as dramatic for Sims 4 as they are for Sims 2, but fulfilling them does actually uh, fulfill benefits and gives some satisfaction to their life. So there's that. So always look to fill you these needs. Obviously the next thing is that would be easy is to fulfill the bladder, but she also has low social. So I'm going to also discuss that. So what we're going to do is invite over Jake to come over. They don't have a very good relationship, but it'll work. And while he's on his way over, we will go ahead and use the toilet. So that brings us to our next two things, which is focus on relationship, also focus on skills and work. All right. Hi, Jake. How are you? All right. Great. Glad to hear it. You know what? I really need to paint. And I, so what I'm going to do is paint. And since I happen to know that Jake has 10 in painting, I'm going to ask him to mentor me. Because what's really great is it doesn't necessarily work on her social, but what it does do is it raises their relationship. As he mentors her, she gets her skills faster. And let's go ahead. Ooh, let's do a large pop art painting. And now mentor me again, Jake. She gets her skills more quickly. And again, she's getting those light bulbs on her head because over here, working on skills as well as work is I have, we have lot traits. And lot traits, if you choose them wisely, will enhance your skill building. So the lot traits that I've activated our bracing breezes, which will enhance her physical fitness activities. Homey, which will enhance things like cooking, mixology, handiness, and gardening. And natural light, which will actually increase painting and photography. There's also fast internet, which helps with programming, video gaming, and writing skills. Convivial, which works on charisma, comedy, and mischief. Great acoustics, which is for musical skills science is going to be great for logic and rocket science and the teen neighborhood is so she would have more teenagers dropping by and private dwelling is so she has fewer people dropping by clothing optional is only for community lots but when you're working on a skill that is enhanced by one of these like natural light that's what causes these lovely little idea light bulbs happening above her brain. So we'll go ahead and let her continue working on that. And it is raising their relationship very well. Plus, it's also getting her, oops, and I didn't switch over her aspiration. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not in a hurry. She's a teenager. Okay, but there, she she hit that. She's been painting long enough. She's at four. Let's go ahead and sell that. And it is 9.30 at night. Now, that doesn't actually, like I said, it didn't actually help her, her actual social, but it did build their relationships. So for social, we'll just go ahead and be friendly with him real quick about painting, cooking, and let's see. 
uh, ask about his day, ask about his likes, like a favorite color, oops, and hobbies and skills. Oh, and also let's, I don't think we need to get to know him. I think we know him pretty well. So go, go start talking to him and build that relationship. She's feeling, he's feeling playful. She's feeling inspired. It's a great start. He likes blue. He also likes purple. Okay, great. And now she's painting again of her own volition, so we'll go ahead and ask him to mentor again while she paints a llama because it gives her faster skills because, like I said, I he has a 10 in his painting. Great job. And now it looks like he's taking his leave. And that's fine because she really should do her homework and go to bed. Because her work as a high schooler, her work means doing homework. But when they're adults, they have things that they can do outside of work in the home that will enhance their work performance. So after this, I'll send her to bed because she's pretty tired. And she's had a good night's sleep because we have a good bed. Now she's ready to make a lovely salad for breakfast. <laughs> Let's check out her inventory. And she can't do extra credit yet. So she's ready to go to school. We'll just have her have some fun until it's time for her to go. I'm going to have her have a video call with Jake before she goes to school. <laughs> And that ups the social better than a chat does. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Jake? Great to see ya. There we go. And now she's ready to go to school. Now wash her hands and go to school. Have a great day, sweet pea. So kids will often get the pop-up should they invite over a classmate that they've that they know. And I usually say no, but her social, it's not terrible, but it's a little low. So let's go ahead and say okay. And she is losing control. That's all right. Not a problem. I will have her, since she's hungry, I will have her serve, serve lunch, garden salad, 12 simoleons. I'm sure it will count as an excellent meal, which will be the fifth of four excellent meals she needs to make. And Jake's talking to her while she's cooking, which is helping a little. Actually, it's dropping a little bit. That's fine. Oh, she's switched over. She's focused now. That's good. Work on your garden salad again. I have her liking cooking, and because I have her like, oh look, there, there we go. And now let's call to meal. Yay! There we go. And let's put that one away. We'll slip that one in the fridge. But now let's go ahead and flip over to her creativity again. And she needs to create three emotional paintings, which is easily done. Well, is we're going to have her do a mathematical diagram. And I don't know if Jake is going to be able to, no, he won't be able to mentor her on this because that is actually giving her logic skill, not painting skill, which is fine. I mean, she's painting, but it provides logic. So as such... He doesn't have, he has not mastered logic, so, but he's talking to her while she's doing it, so that's good for it, their relationship and her social skills, so there's that. It's 107. Now, it qualified as an emotional painting, 
but it actually gave her three points of logic, which is great for her. Uh, she is pretty tired, but she's not exhausted yet. So when you don't direct them, they tend to think about what their most necessary need is, and that's what will pop up autonomously for them. But she wants to paint on the easel, so what, let's go ahead and get another mathematical diagram because that will be her second of her emotional paintings that she needs to do. And the emotions are when they are something here other than inspired or happy. It could be angry, playful, flirty, depressed, anything other than inspired or happy will fill that. And getting a little bit of homework in before it's time for her to turn in is the best choice for her. But I should have actually had her take a steamy shower, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because now we've got her feeling flirty, which is great. We'll have her start a flirty painting, even if she doesn't get to finish it before. There we go. That's fine. And it's time for her to go to school. And off she goes. While she's at school, I'd like to talk about neighborhood stories. You can check them on the mailbox. It tells you who's doing what. Okay, she's a bee now. Great job. So far, so she has focused on her skills, on her work, work being school, and also focusing on relationships. Now, when they're at work, you can choose how well they work, and I have had her just work normally, but she could study hard and she would have gotten higher up. Okay, great job. And she's grabbing a salad, which is wonderful for her. Okay. And we're going to sell that. Next would be to get out of the house. And one of the reasons I wanted to get out of the house was because we have a couple things that we can do for the two things that we're working on. So what I will do is tap the M key on my keyboard, that's M for map, and it takes us to the map view. Now from here I can go to any of the three worlds that I have installed. Newcrest of course is completely empty. There's Oasis Springs as well as, of course, Willow Creek. Now, the nice thing is I could actually visit other people in their own home from here, or I can go to any of the community lots, and I can go to community lots in Oasis Springs as well. But I'm going to go ahead. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go to the museum in Oasis Springs. I'm not going to take Jake. One of the reasons I wanted to go to a museum is she has a need to look at artwork in a museum. So let's go ahead and view three different pieces of art. I actually like the museum in Willow Creek better because she doesn't have to climb lots of stairs. It's not hard on them, it's just time consuming. There we go. Now she needs to paint 10 excellent paintings and also level up to five, but that's not the only thing we're gonna do while we're out and about. We are going to switch her over here to bodybuilder and we're going to go somewhere else also. We're just tap the M key and go to Burners and Builders. Still not taking Jake. Now, once you're here, 
one thing to know about community lots is they you can actually enter build and buy mode while your sim is visiting them which is awesome but they don't have any of the lot traits activated so we are going to lot uh, activate bracing breezes convivial and homing we're going to buy the best kitchen appliances money can buy because it doesn't cost us a dime if your sim is poor this is a really great way to make things work but now she needs to work out for a total of eight hours well she doesn't have to do it for a total of eight hours right now but she needs to work out and she needs to work out at a gym venue and that's what this is now let's look to see oh gym trainer Brooks Graff all right run with the chest out there Violet I need you to run okay and now ask Brooks to mentor you so between uh, between working out with the bracing breezes and the mentoring she'll level up much more quickly this is actually the best way you can level up when you're in base game only is by having the associated lot trait and being mentored so that's great great for her okay so she's tired but look at that she's got a pretty good relationship with Brooks uh, so that's her second friend it's nice to have friends and with that we'll just send her home she's a little tired but mostly she's just got to do her homework now because Violet is a B student she has the opportunity to do some extra credit so I will have her do that before she goes to bed B and A students can do extra credit but they can't do extra credit under B however if they are under C I believe there is an opportunity to do makeup work and off she goes to work to school which is her work and I'm gonna have her make friends and watch how her social goes up while she's at school she'll be meeting people she's a little sad that's okay and she met Tatum while at school now that her social is full up we're gonna have her switch to study hard and she's angry which is part of the latest bug but that's okay she's having an emotion bomb so let's go ahead and have her go for a run and this will help plus it's nice to get out of the house and enjoy everything that's around in the lovely area of Willow Creek it's a lovely neighborhood And she's getting her fitness skills she needs to work out for three more hours in order to hit her next level of this oh look at me I'm hot and after three consecutive jogs she is fatigued which is fine but we can go ahead and have something to eat take a shower and now we will do some homework for her and that's been a great day so basically lather rinse repeat just to remind you focus on their needs focus on skills focus on work and in her case it's school focus on relationships and just get out of the house and that's five tips for living the single life in the Sims 4 and that's all I have to say I will see you soon in the pixelated world BK out